Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a challenge. I'll be eating at Poundland for 24 hours. I'm not totally sure what I can expect from Poundland. Lots of snacks for sure, but I don't know about the hot food, you know, so I think it'll be a good challenge. Also, side note, I always thought it was Poundsland because of like inflation, things went up. That's not even me trying to make a joke. I actually thought they changed the name. I do not think they have. So we're going to try and go to Poundland and see what I can get with one of these bad boys. But obviously I'm gonna spend a bit more. Let's just go inside and let's start the challenge, okay? Let's get ourselves inside and get some goodies. That's the first fail of the day. I pushed instead of pulled. I'm gonna think about that all day now. But let's um, get some food. Starting with an energy drink, because I'm tired. Then a chocolate bar only made for men. And then who remembers this? Caramac classic. And then the worst chocolate. However, in Turkey it's delicious, but in the UK, Turkish diet's horrible. But let's pick up some of these canop actually showing me putting this way because someone always complains but uh yeah oh favorite aisle crisps this is my favorite oh i love a good crisp we're gonna get some of these which are a classic if you remember these you're old like me some discos most flavorful crisp in the world coming straight out of the 90s some snacks as well did you guys know poundland had clothes they're not gonna be a pound but that's pretty cool frozen section i do need some hot food right so i thought we'd check some stuff out They've got ready meals. They've actually got some decent amount of halal options, but we're gonna start with this corn lasagna. Then we're gonna go for, oh, by the way, this is the best ice cream ever. Lotus biscuit ice cream, try it, try it, try it. But uh, yeah, we're gonna try these pizza pockets. So I thought, why not? Let's check these out. And then, uh, yeah, they actually have some kebab meat. This could be disastrous. You'll have to wait and see. And um, not too much halal food, but there is some, like these uh, peri strips, which are actually pretty decent, to be honest with you and some microchips. I haven't seen these ones before. And then just a few more bits and bobs, really. I need some more food, really, because I do want to fill myself up. And then, uh, yeah, oh, some cheese, some cheese, and this lovely doggy little bag. I like the dogs on that, so I thought, why not? Everything here cost me 16 49 which I think is actually pretty decent. Let's take us back to the car. Apparently, there was a quality issue with that, like, clopper or nopper, I forget how it's pronounced now chocolatey wafery thing things so we can't do that but this is a, like a hefty bag under 20 pounds which is good so while some of the stuff is a bit more expensive i still think it's pretty well priced to be fair who remembers these these are such a classic crisp like also daring to call yourself crisp right i don't think many people remember these i'm kind of probably showing my age but i'm going to have a couple of these um these are the most flavorful crisp in the whole world all of them cheese onion, prawn cocktail, salt and vinegar, all the most favorable crisps in the world. But what I'm gonna do is I think I need to make breakfast, right? So I've got some bread, um, or bread rolls. I've got some cheese, I've got some crisps. I've got like an energy drink. So I think we'll, um, oh. Now these are a proper classic. They, um, they taste really good for a second and they just dissolve in your mouth and there's like no flavor. But uh, love them anyway. So we're gonna make ourselves a sandwich with a, uh, some mature cheddar slices. We'll get at least a couple of these. I never got the point in like yeast or flour topped buns. It just ruins the, when you bite into it, it kind of ruins the experience, right? I don't know. Do people like flour topped buns? I feel like it's a bit of a use useless thing, really. I mean, the things are made of flour. Why do you need like actual raw flour on the top? It just feels really pointless to me. I don't know. Can someone give me a single point of the flour on a flour top bun? I don't think you can. If you can, I'll delete my channel. Um. Okay, so we've got two slices of cheese. I'm gonna put that away. I'm gonna put that here. We're gonna keep all the flour all over me because that's how they're designed. Then, bada bing, bada boom, we've got this carabao. I saw this video on a uh, underrated hijabi's uh, channel. If you wanna check out her video, it'll be in the description. That's where I got my inspiration from. It's not bad, you know. I like green apple flavor stuff and it is very early, so I need the energy. Crisp. Haven't had these for an extremely long time, like since I was a kid, I think, really. Mmm, one of the best crisps ever, really. Mmm, super crunchy and flavorful. I haven't really prepared this in like the best way, and I'll concede to that point. But, um, oh, you know what I should have got? I should have got like sauces and stuff. I 100% can because I'm literally right there. That's where the uh, parallel entrance is. So, 100% could, but I can't be bothered. I'm gonna have this and then go to the gym, I think. On the way to the gym, guys, and this has grown on me greatly. 
gonna finish this with energy drink and also my pre-workout. I hope that doesn't break the challenge. Pre-workout is just water and a bit of powder. I really hope that doesn't break the challenge, but I need it to survive the gym. And then I saw this Yorkie, orange Yorkie, never seen that before. And do you remember when it used to say only, uh, not for girls? It was like, not for girls. You could not do that today. You could not do that today. So I'm, <laughs> and rightly so. I'm gonna uh, have that, I think, before my heaviest set. Ooh. It snapped in half, is that normal? Is it like bounty where they segment it? We'll find out. Okay, so the bar is kicking my butt, so I think we're gonna have to refuel, guys. Alright, here we go. Alright, so I was gonna eat in the gym, but I felt really naughty. I felt really naughty. I'm not sure if I should really be doing that. Eating chocolate in the gym. This is Yorkie's uh, orange. Oh. It is in little segments, so it's like, you know, not bite-sized, but like, servings. Who really listens to the servings, though? Who's not going to eat that in one go? Come on now. Mmm, that's nice. I quite like that. It just tastes like a Yorkie, that kind of texture, with just a dash of orange, which, fruits, man, I'm trying to be healthy, been to the gym, this is my one of five a day. I'm just joking. It's my two or five a day because there's two servings. I feel like I've severely under eaten today. So we're gonna go home and get lots more food. Well, with the stuff I have in the back, I might have to actually go back to Poundland because I feel like I might not have enough food for the day. Okay, so we're back. I kind of fancy eating um, these like apples I have, but technically I didn't get them from Poundland, so meh, can't eat them. But they do have a fresh fruit, so it might be that. So let's a quick um, look through here. Just see what I'm gonna make for lunch, and I've just done the gym. Ooh, let's try these. These look alright. I can even add my own mature cheddar. Poundland have come in clutch. So you can actually uh, microwave or oven these. I always think it's best to oven stuff like this. Hey Siri, set timer, 20 minutes. I can never get my Siri to work. Oh. Okay, it worked on my phone. I can never get it to work on my watch. I want it to work on this. This just feels cooler. But yeah, these take 20 minutes. So here we go. I thought I'd make both of them, right? Kind of like a little flap ready thing, really. They look high, they look high, you know? It's all cheesy and whatnot. I'm pretty sure underrated hijabi had these. I'm 99% sure. I don't remember if I'm being honest. Not bad. It's like a, as described really, pizza pocket, cheesy tomato, it's not bad, you know. It's probably got four grams of protein. In fact, I think um, B&M might have some protein products, which I might go back for, because I have been to the gym, see some protein. Oh, not B&M. Oh, I might do a 24 hours of B&M meeting, but yeah. Fun to try these. These are like childhood, like nostalgia, showing my age. If you know these, you know these, right? <laughs> These are actually as small as I remember. Look how tiny these actual packets are. Like, I think, hand on my heart, I can eat all of this in one go. In fact, you know what? Let's try it. I think I can, hold on. And it dissolves like immediately. Like you get this burst of flavor when you put them in your mouth and then they dissolve immediately. So just doing a little bit of editing now. And these pizza pocket things are really growing on me. Well, actually really good. I would go back and get these again. I might open them up, put some meat in there in the future. I'll wait for the channel, but they're cheesy. So I like the uh, flatbread. So like 75% of my life is basically just editing videos. That's the, uh, the background side, the back end side of YouTube. I'm either filming or editing. Also, as you can see, I'm actually moving. I'm moving houses. I'm moving to another city, which I haven't announced yet, but I will do. It's kind of all up in the air. As soon as I have something concrete, I'm making that announcement. But again, these are great. Also, oh, I'm going to make the um, kebab. There's a kebab. I've got chips. I've got cheese. I might go back to see if I can get some like chili, garlic, and coleslaw. Can I use condiments? Is that cheating? I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to make the kebab. It looks a little bit... Um, Dirty. It does look like a dirty kebab, but sometimes they're the best. So, yeah, I'm gonna do that next. In a couple of hours, I'm quite hungry. I'm gonna try this kebab now. I think you can, like, uh, yeah, microwave, oven, or pan fry. I'm gonna pan fry it, and then we're gonna try these, like, microwave chips. So, this company called uh, Barakut, right? It's what they look like. They're frozen, of course. 
We're just gonna, they look like they cut pretty thick to be fair. I mean, that's a, that's a big old juicy mama jamma. So we're gonna just chuck a few of these bad boys in there. Have them on some chips. I was gonna have them on a bread roll, but I'm gonna save that. And I've got a good idea for that, um, for this pasta. I've got a good idea. At first I thought it was a bit boring. I've got a good idea for it. Um, but yeah, these are, are pretty chunky, really. So we're gonna have around this much and see what they look like when I warm them up. This is not looking or smelling great. I'll be frank. I've added some of my own chili, which is not really cheating. So I'm gonna go chili from Poundland, you know? But uh, yeah. I'll do my best with it. Whilst the donut's doing its thing, look, so these, oh, I've dropped like a load. I think they actually look pretty good. If you look at them, I think they look all right. I think I can jive with these. Uh, two and a half minutes in the microwave. And uh, honestly, right, they look all right too. I think they're all like a pound, pound land, right? Something along those lines. We're gonna get these and uh, just put them on the chips. I'll be honest, this has kind of put me off food forever, um, but uh, I'll try it. it. Doesn't look too smart, does it? I mean, these, at first I was oh, it's thick cut. Now I wish it was thin cut because there's less volume. Extremely lamby, extremely potent flavor. The chips are good. Oh, the chips, dare I say it, can't taste like McDonald's. McDonald's fries. I'll be honest with you, the lamb is absolutely terrible. I don't like using the words like disgusting because I feel like they're exaggerative. I'm not exaggerating. This is causing me a lot of disgust right now. Um, it's kind of making me feel sick. I'm gonna do my best to eat this, but what I might do is, um, I don't know, I just, I'm trying to think how I can eat it in a way that I can't taste it. Like cut it up put it with chili, turn it into something else. But what I might do instead is um, just make some of this pasta, guys, because I need the chips, but the donor is terrible. Do not get that. I'm, oh, I'm That's disgusting. I'm really struggling, it's, dis it's disgusting. We're gonna have this now. Does anyone actually measure the water? I think it's supposed to be 250 milliliters. I just chuck in whatever. Then I'm gonna try these on top. That was my idea. I look like I really messed up. I hope that reduces. After the meal that I've just had, let's hope I can salvage this. When you realize you're an adult with free will and you can do stuff like this. The easier the better, and that's like two extra grams of protein. It all adds up. What do you call it when your best friend gives you a protein shake? A protein shake, guys, a bro, a bro. A... I'm really trying to sort of kickstart the humor and the stand-up career. I'm just gonna stick to food reviews, I think. This isn't looking bad, you know, guys. Good amount of protein in there, to be honest. Each one of these tenders is gonna be like a few grams of protein, right? It tastes good. It's like a bit spicy, a bit peri. Cheesiness from the pasta. I actually think that's decent. I would have that as a little snack. Probably the best thing I've had today, actually. These, honestly, right, they are, they actually are delicious. I would buy them even without the challenge. Maybe, that's like a snack, it's like a pound, right? I'd buy them as a snack. You could put them in like a sandwich or something. Still got quite a lot to eat to be fair. I think it's time for dinner. Let's try this. <sighs> this bit always scares me. The steam is so hot. That's something so cheap, I think it looks all right. I always get, <laughs> you know when you open it, I do always get worried about that. Because I think when I was a kid, I must have opened something microwavable and the steam must have hit me. Because I, I think about that every time. Ooh. I'm getting a phone call. No one ever calls me. You know, it's not bad, like, it's a pound. And also, I don't know if you guys know this, there's a decent amount of protein in corn. It's obviously not as good as mince, but there's like no fat. There's a, uh, the macros are not bad. The calories, proteins, fats, carbs, not bad. I'm feeling that. I do think what I should have done, I don't really think it through, but when I was there, I should have got some garlic bread. Something crunch, crunchy, something crunchy. But, oh, not bad. I'll do this. I'm gonna continue editing in bed. Why not? Because, I've got an office. I don't mind. Okay. I get this a lot. People say, oh, Ali, it's um, it's only the afternoon. Um, um, why, are you, why are you in bed? Why in bed? Why not? Why not? Listen, it's the best place in the house. If I can edit on a chair on a desk or I can get in bed, I can warm up, turn the heating off, cost a living crisis, save some money, and I'm comfortable and I can work anyway, why would I not work from bed? You tell me why I should punish myself by not being in the comfiest place in the room, in the, in the, in the house. 
Exactly, my friends. So therefore, I'm going to get in bed. And sometimes I go to the gym, come back, shower, get straight back in bed. It's 11 a.m. I'm in bed. Okay, but I get my work done. That's what matters. So we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna eat this chill. And if you're new here, please do consider subscribing. I'm gonna do lots more challenges this year. Lots of foodie content, really throughout the country. Uh, but I'll be traveling lots too. If you want to see this kind of stuff, please do hit the subscribe button. It really helps me out. And this doesn't count, but I've got a two liter bottle of water. It's so encouraging. It starts at the top. I think it's like 7 a.m. 7 a.m. Good morning. Then it goes to hydrate uh, yourself. I like the positive reinforcement. The words of affirmation really help me. This is good, so I'm gonna drink this. I didn't get this from B&M, but I could have got bottles of water and put it in there if I was taking this super seriously, but I'm not. So we're just gonna drink it from the tap because we um, we didn't take it as seriously as we could. And I'm reflecting on it. Next time, I will buy the bottles of water and I'll tip them in. If it gets me to like do the challenge properly, I'll do it. Because I did one challenge before. I did like a 10,000 calories in a day challenge. And I included liquid calories because, you know, if your challenge is up to you, there are no set rules. It's not sport. It's not officiated by, by officials, okay? There's no actual rules. You make the rules. That's the whole point, right? And I was like, I'm going to struggle with the food content, like eating 10,000 calories. So I'm going to have, I had like a couple of drinks. It wasn't that much. It was like a, a few hundred calories, maybe 500 calories. I don't know. And uh, people were not happy. But you know what? The thing is, I don't really care. Is what I want to say, but I do. I do. Do you know what? Next time, I'll do 10,000 calories and I will not have the um, liquid calories in it. Are you happy now? That's what I'm going to do. I don't know how I've just gaslighted myself into starting at a position where I was happy with my life choices to now hating what I've done and being like, I need to redo that. I don't know, but I need to hydrate, man. So it's ended up getting like really, really late. I've been like editing, doing all sorts of stuff. I'm going to finish the day with uh, some crisps. Doing something I never do, which is eating bed. If I've been honest with you, it's because I'm moving houses. And I'm like, do you know what? I'm throwing the rules out the window. I'm just throwing them out the window. So I'm just going to eat and chill, unwind, do some editing and then go to sleep. Guys, if you've liked this challenge, give me some suggestions on more stuff to do. Let me know in the comments. I do want to do more stuff like this. I found it really fun. And yeah, why not? If you guys want to see that, I am more than happy to oblige. If you want to see another sort of little challenge I did, go up there. It was eating meal deals uh, for 24 hours. Do check that out. Please do like, do share, do comment, do subscribe. And I'll see you all in that next video. Bye, 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 bye.